Today's lecture is on the ethics of decision-making capacity in medicine. So, as a physician, you must be able to determine if a patient is psychologically and legally capable of making a healthcare decision. This is a serious legal obligation that physicians have in everyday life. As a physician, you must ask yourself, is the patient 18 or over, or in certain circumstances, are they emancipated? Are they in the military? Are they uh, self-sustaining job-wise? Are they married? Do they make and communicate their choice to you? Is, inform are this, is the patient informed or do they understand all the aspects of the treatment, the pros, the cons, the consequences of not going through treatment? Is the decision genuine? Is it not altered by mood, stress, mental disorders, etc.? And is the decision stable over time? If a patient keeps flip-flopping back and forth between going or withholding treatment, then there's the possibility that a mental altered state is there. Now, we'll talk about surrogate decision makers. A surrogate is a person who knows the patient and is able to take over decision-making duties if and when the patient loses this capability. Now, there is a hierarchy or priority of surrogates that is actually in legal standing. And the order goes from spouse having the highest priority down to adult children, to parents, to adult siblings, and finally to other. Other typically refers to other relatives that are distant, maybe cousins or grandparents or grandchildren, However, in certain circumstances, this could also include very close family friends. And this is the ethics of decision-making capacity in medicine.